And welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest cannot only blast the golf ball 488 yards, but his charisma and infectious personality has taken the golf world by storm. Please welcome down to the circle, Maurice Allen. Yes! yes. yes. <laughs> Come on now! Come on down How you doing, to the circle. Ladies? How hey. you doing? Hello, Maurice. How you doing, Rattler? Uh, what's up, Rattler? Oh, we told everybody our first question. Good to see you. Hello. Have, Have a seat. seat. Yes, yes, yes. Mark yes. Spot. All right, hopefully y'all won't talk about my hairline like y'all did with oh, bro. Oh, yeah, you're going to get Well, that's, yours is all the way in. No, no, I got that top peel back like T.I. <laughs> like this. All right. <laughs> so you are a Rattler. You are a uh, graduate of Florida A&M University. Yes, ma'am. So um, I'm so glad to, to, to share the couch with you, oh, my man. Rattler, even uh, though you're way younger than me. It's okay, though. No, not way. Don't say way. Oh, just younger. <laughs> just a little yeah, younger. Yeah, just a little bit. Right. So I know that you uh, obviously are a golfer, but that wasn't your first no. thing. No, Your no. first passion. What, what, how uh, did you get to this place? Honestly, my friend bet me I wasn't athletic enough to hit a golf ball. That's really? It. What? I ran track at Florida and them, so my passion was track and field and did went all the way almost to Olympic trials with that. <laughs> and, yeah, somebody bet me I wasn't athletic enough to hit a golf ball. My last semester at FAM, uh, and that's how it ended up happening. What? Yeah. Here I am thinking you were on the golf team. Right. But you actually played, tra you, you ran track. Yeah. That yeah, is I was awesome. Track that's that's crazy. crazy. Yeah. yeah. So who were some of your influences growing up? Uh, yeah, that's weird. Uh, growing up, I grew up in a family full of athletes. Okay. So I had cousins that played in the NFL. Uh, a lot of people know to this day, Julius Irvin's one oh, of my, yeah. my close, close mentors and mm -hmm. friends, pretty much my uncle. Uh, but I've been around the who's who of athletes. Reggie Jackson, obviously Julius, Shaq. I mean, the list goes on and mm -hmm. on and on. So I've seen pretty much the best people in their particular disciplines do what they do, and that's what I've learned from. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, you set the world, the Guinness World Record for... Golf speed, yeah. which at 211 miles per hour. Like, when you got up there, you're like, you know what, I'm going to break this record. Was that intentional? Yeah, a company that I was working with at the time, Tour Edge, they're out of Chicago. They were trying to do some marketing for their club, so we figured, how can we prove that the club was better than anything else on the market? Do that. So, it worked out. Have a good day. Yeah. Lucky day. You got a lot of good confidence, huh? <laughs> well, a lucky day. A lucky day. <laughs> Still in your cell. Right, right, right. But for those who don't know that you gained recognition from the 2015 European Championship, mm -hmm. that was well documented. Tell us a little bit about that and um, how that changed your life. Well, that one was good. I ended up winning the European Tour two years back to back. And then last year, the thing that really got everything going was I won a tournament in Denver, Colorado. Mm -hmm. It was my dad's birthday, and I ended up doing this Ric Flair impression, and mm. it was a joke. I walked up to the tee box, and my friend gave me a text message that said, if you win this, give me two claps and a Ric Flair. I was like, all right, no problem. Yeah. I had no clue that, obviously, Ric Flair was going to go into the hospital like two or three weeks later, that there was a 30 for 30 and all this other stuff going on, and then obviously, you know, Offset and Ric Flair drip and all this other stuff. So somehow I got thrown into pop culture literally off of a joke and it worked out pretty well. So it was Can all right. You, you bet you won't do that Ric Flair nah, right now. No, no, I won't. I won't do that. I definitely won't do that. Don't do that again. All right. Nah. When we come back, uh, we will face off mm. in a little challenge. Come on now. Playing a little golf with Maurice. Y'all stay with us.